Okay guys, so Sam Altman, the man himself, has finally dropped some shocking news about the OpenAI product roadmap of GPT-4.5 and GPT-5. We've been hearing tons of, you know, unverified speculation, rumors, whispers about GPT-5, all that stuff for ages. But now we've got like official confirmation straight from the source about what is happening with GPT-5. It's insane. So we're going to dive deep, break it all down, figure out what's real, what's just, you know, hype. And most importantly, what this actually means for the future. So check out this tweet straight from Sam Altman. OpenAI roadmap update for GPT 4.5 and GPT 5. We want to do a better job of sharing our intended roadmap and a much better job simplifying our product offerings. We want AI to just work for you. We realize how complicated our model and product offerings have gotten. We hate the model picker as much as you do and want to return to magic unified intelligence. Okay, let's start with something you've probably run into, especially if you're a paying chat GPT user, like myself. It's gotten way, like, way too complicated. Seriously. Take a look at this, guys. Bam! You're hit with this, like, insane wall of choices. It's crazy. You've got GPT-4.0. That's the main one, obviously. But then you've got GPT-4.0 with scheduled tasks. Then we get into the O series. O1, O3 Mini, O3 Mini High, and then O1 Pro Mode. And, like, there's even a More Models button. And don't even get me started on temporary chat. It's a mess. Now, compare that to, like, Anthropic's Claude or, you know, DeepSeek. They keep it simple, you know? A couple of options, boom, you're done. No headaches. OpenEye, they've got this whole, like, galaxy of models right now. It's not just annoying for us. I bet it's a massive pain for them, too, to keep track of all this. So what's the supposed fix? Well, according to some pretty interesting leaks, OpenAI is going for this thing called unified intelligence. And the key to that is this crazy thing called a router LLM. Now, OpenAI hasn't, like, officially said, hey, we're using a router LLM, but it makes total sense with what they've been saying about, you know, simplifying things. And here's why. Think of router LMS as, like, super smart switchboards for AI. You send your question to the router LLM, and it doesn't, like, answer it directly. Instead, it's super smart. It looks at your question. It analyzes, you know, how complex it is, how long it is, what kind of task it is. And it figures out which of your available AI models, like maybe a big, powerful one for the really tough questions or a smaller, faster one for the simple stuff, is the absolute best to handle it. Then it sends your question to that chosen model and you get the answer back. Boom. It's genius. This way, you get the best results without having to, like, become an AI expert and, you know, pick the model yourself. Plus, and this is huge, it can save a ton of money by using those cheaper models when it can. It's all about, like automatically picking the right tool for the job. And that lines up perfectly with OpenAI's whole unified intelligence thing and, you know, making AI way easier to use. Now let's back to Sam Altman tweet. He says, and I'm quoting here, we will next ship GPT 4.5, the model we called Orion internally, as our last non-chain of thought model. Now, let's break that down. First, we will next ship GPT 4.5. Okay, that confirms it. Orion or GPT 4.5, whatever you want to call it, it's coming. It's the next thing. That's huge. You know, I'm all over this Orion thing. I even made a whole video about it, comparing its, like, massive potential to the size of a whale. Seriously, guys, the scale of this thing is mind-blowing. Like a blue whale compared to, I don't know, goldfish. You got to check it out. I'll link it in the description. The point is, this is big. But the really mind-blowing part is the second half of that sentence. B, as our last non-chain of thought model. Last, non-chain of thought. What does that even mean? Well, chain of thought in AI terms, you know, it's basically how these models like think. It's a technique where instead of just spitting out an answer, the model like shows its work. It breaks down a problem into steps, reasoning through it, almost like a human would. It's, you know, how they get to be so smart. So Altman is saying that Orion GPT 4.5 will be the last model that doesn't do that. That is insane, guys. That's a massive shift. It basically means that everything after Orion, so GPT-5 and beyond, will fundamentally think differently. They'll use this chain of thought, or maybe, you know, something even more advanced as their, like, core way of operating. This isn't just, like, a minor upgrade. This is, you know, potentially a completely new way for AI to, like, process information. It's like going from, I don't know, a calculator to a supercomputer. Or, you know, my whale analogy. Going from a goldfish to a freaking blue whale. And, you know, 
the fact that they're calling it the last non-chain of thought model. That's significant. It's like they're drawing a line in the sand. There's the old way of doing things, and then there's the new way, the GPT-5 way, and there's no going back. It also, you know, hints at why GPT-5 is taking so long. They're not just, like, making GPT-4 bigger and better. They're basically rebuilding it from the ground up with this whole new, like, reasoning engine. After that, a top goal for us is to unify O-series models and GPT-series models by creating systems that can use all our tools, know when to think for a long time or not, and generally be useful for a very wide range of tasks. In both chat GPT and our 8i, we will release GPT-5 as a system that integrates a lot of our technology, including O3. We will no longer ship O3 as a standalone model. Okay, so GPT-5 is shaping up to be a massive deal. It's not just a single model, it's a whole system, an ecosystem of AI. And it sounds like they're folding in everything, including their O3 tech. They're basically integrating it all into GPT-5, which is pretty huge. The really mind-blowing part? The free tier of chat GPT will apparently get unlimited chat access to GPT-5 at the standard intelligence setting. Unlimited GPT-5 access for free? That's insane. But of course there's a catch. Standard intelligence setting probably means GPT-5 light. Not the full-blown, super-powered version, but still, unlimited access to a GPT-5 level model. Crazy. And they mention abuse threshold, so, yeah, don't try to run your entire business on the free tier. They'll be watching. Regarding the release timeline, Sam Altman's hints about weeks for 4.5 and months for 5 are interesting. So maybe we'll see GPT-4.5 relatively soon, potentially in the coming weeks, while GPT-5 might be a few months out. It's all speculation at this point, but it definitely gives us something to look forward to. What does this mean for us? We should be excited, definitely, but also realistic. I is evolving rapidly, and it's going to be a wild ride. We need to stay informed, keep learning, and pay attention to the facts, not just the hype. And that's where I come in. I'll be here, sifting through all the crazy AI news, separating the facts from the, you know, fluff, and helping you understand what's actually going on. Because, trust me, it's going to get complicated. So what do you think? Are you hyped for GPT-5? Are you concerned about the standard intelligence limitations on the free tier? What about this unified intelligence concept? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think.